You are now listening to The Smooth Sensations and High Vibrations of Alex, host of the best relationship channel on YouTube. Alex, drop them gems on it. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Alex. Shout out to the Elite Fleet. Make sure you like and subscribe so you can become a member of the Elite Fleet. And last time... I talked about DDG and Haley Bailey. It was a really good video. Got a lot of good feedback. And I got to talk about them again, but not for a reason that I want to. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be a, a long video. But I really, really, really think it's important, rather you're a man or a woman watching this video, rather you're young or old, that you watch this whole video. Because it's going to be a lot of good information in it. And it's a very important message. Now, if you watch the whole video and you decide to disagree, that's fine. But I don't really see how you would. But either way, I really think this is important because I don't think people understand how much this DDG and Haley Bailey situation can set young black relationships back. And we already have the highest single parent ratio in the country. So we cannot get set back any further. Now, I know some of y'all probably like, oh, I wish you were exaggerating. It's not that serious. This is why I want you to actually watch this video because I'm going to explain to you guys why it is. So here's the thing. When I made the video last time about DDG and Haley Bailey, I was defending DDG, right? Because I thought the things that women were saying about him online was ridiculous. They were calling him broke, dusty, implying that he's not good enough for her. And I didn't understand it because... I knew who DDG was because um, one of my exes used to watch DDG's videos. So I knew, I've known who DDG was for at least like the last five years, five or six years, right? So I've seen this man come up. I know things about DDG that a lot of people who don't pay attention to like streamers or YouTube space or Twitch and stuff like that wouldn't know about DDG. I know he was a valedictorian, right? And I know he was getting to the bag. It's ironic that so many women were calling DDG broke and dusty because he has more money than Haley Bailey. I know. Y'all seen her in The Little Mermaid, right? Y'all seen her, and she put out an album, and she was signed to Rock Nation, which was, a, which was a big mistake, by the way, because a lot of you women don't know this either. I don't know why y'all don't do research, but you don't. <laughs> DDG has more RIAA certifications then Haley Bailey does. If you don't know what an RIA certification is, it's basically platinum albums or gold albums, albums that have hit those types of statuses, bronze, things of that nature. DDG has a platinum single. He also has a double platinum single. He has a couple of gold ones, too. He has more than Haley Bailey. So not only does he have more money than Haley Bailey, right? He also is more accomplished in the music field than she is, right? Now, is he a better artist? No. We all know Haley can sing. Right? I don't particularly like DDG's rapping. But I'm also going to acknowledge that he, somebody does, <laughs> he went there and platinum, right? I don't like it, but someone does. But my point is, going back to the Rock Nation thing, one of the biggest mistakes Haley and Chloe even made was to even sign with Rock Nation. Because Rock Nation, of course, is Jay-Z and that's Beyonce. And if you know anything about the music industry and Jay-Z and Beyonce, they don't want anyone to be better than them. And they don't like competition, right? We've seen what Jay-Z was doing to J. Cole at first, how long it took him to get his first album off. All right, we already know about what Beyonce did with Carrie Hilson and how she blackballed her. I can go on and on, but I don't want to because that's not what this video is about. So I actually think that it hurt Haley more than it helped Haley to even sign her music career in Rock Nation because Rock Nation gave them no real push and it's putting no real effort into them, right? But, again, she was a little mermaid and because she was rocking with Beyonce and Rock Nation, she's more visible to you, especially women. But she is not more wealthy. She's not. She's not even more accomplished in the music industry. You just know her name more. She's more iconic. Either way, with that being said, alright, I defended DDG. Knowing all those things about DDG, I said, I don't know why y'all not rooting for this couple. This has the potential to be a young black power couple, and we need to see more of those. I didn't see the ain't shitness in DDG. That's the simplest way for me to put it, okay? I didn't see it. I didn't think that's what he was going to do. Haley, by all means, is a good girl, all right? She has a clean image. And, this, and you guys got to understand 
I need you men to understand what I'm about to say in this video because I'm about to preach and y'all can learn something. This is going to be grown man talk. I'm not going to crack too many jokes here. Y'all need to hear this. Haley has a clean image. She grew up as a church girl. She stays out of trouble. All right? She's not on all fours at the edge of the bed getting her back blown out like her sister. All right? She don't really post thirst traps or have butt cheeks and twerking and busting splits and none of that that much. She'll post a baby suit pick here and there, but for the most part, everybody looks at Haley, right? Everybody, men and women, as very classy, very demure, the wife type, right? And she was also the Little Mermaid, which may not matter to you as men, but it matters to women. So there's a whole generation of young girls who look up to her. Basically, anyone under the age, 30 and under, knows who Haley is, and chances are... If you're like 24 or under, you're probably going to look at up to her in some way, shape, or form. She's one of your icons. So why are you saying all this, Alex? Simple. You do not take a woman who has a clean image. You do not take a woman who is a woman of God. You do not take a woman who has enough respect to not be brought to the edge of the bed, uh, you know, national television in a series like her sister did. Or not go around shaking her ass everywhere like Cardi B does, like Megan Thee Stallion does, right? To, to, to again, be very demure and be very classy. You have that. So why wouldn't you marry her? Why wouldn't you reward that? I thought DDG was going to do that. He did not do that. Now, I know some of you are going to come in the comments and say, well, Alex, you don't know what goes on behind closed doors. Just because she seems a certain way doesn't mean she is. First of all, I've told you guys before. It's on record on my channel. I've said it. I think behind closed doors... Haley probably is worse than Chloe, but Haley is smarter than Chloe. So because she's smarter than Chloe, she might be a bigger 304 behind closed doors than Chloe is. She probably is, but she's not dumb enough to put it out in public. That's a very, 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 very mindful thing. That is a plus, guys, because nobody is perfect, right? So what I'm saying is she's not putting it out in public. So all we have to go off of is what we see and what we hear. And from what I've seen and what I've heard, she's a very good girl. There would be no reason why you wouldn't get married with her a chance. And even deeper than that, whatever y'all might say about what we don't know about what's going on behind closed doors, at the end of the day, DDG put a child in her. So who cares? Whatever was going on behind closed doors wasn't important enough for DDG to make the decision that she shouldn't be his baby mother. So if she was good enough to be his baby mother, she should be good enough to be his wife. I just had a video where I was just talking about this with Big Sean. The hell with all this stuff. I don't want to get into the women. I got plenty of videos where I'm talking about the women. Right now I'm talking to the men. Alright? We got to do better with this type of crap. Because y'all did the same thing with Janae Akio. Now we all know Janae Akio was a hoe. Janae Akio was the complete opposite of Haley Bailey, all right? She was a baby mama, then she got married, she cheated on her husband with Big Sean, and now she's a baby mama again. So this is a completely different situation. But even in that situation, I said in the video, I acknowledge, would I want Janae Akio as a wife? No, she's absolutely gorgeous, but would I want her as a wife? No, because of all the reasons I just mentioned. But guess what I also wouldn't have done? I wouldn't have knocked her up. Once you knock her up, you might as well go ahead and do the right thing because if you couldn't see a life with her, what the hell did you put a child in there for? And this is my problem with your arguments trying to defend DDG. Oh, we don't know what's going on behind closed doors. I don't care what was going on behind closed doors because just like I hold women accountable, I hold men accountable. And I tell women all the time because it's the truth. A man did not just roll out of bed one day and have all these damn red flags and become a completely different person out of nowhere with no warning. That's bullshit. What happened was those red flags were always there. He always had these issues and you chose to ignore them, which is your prerogative, right? But once you chose to ignore them and you had a baby with the man, you owe it to your child and yourself and your image to try to make it work. Unless he's being verbally, mentally, or emotionally, or physically abusive. I do not believe Haley was being verbally, emotionally, mentally, or physically abusive to DDG, so I don't want to hear it. And if she was, and he still put a baby in her, then he's an idiot and need to be accountable and deal with it. Same thing I told Big Sean. It makes no sense to put a baby into someone you don't foresee yourself spending the rest of your life with. <laughs> because that's what you're going to be doing. It ain't 18 years, guys. 
Because at 18 years, your son or daughter is going to go to college. Guess who's going to be there? The baby mother. Then they're going to graduate college. Guess who's going to be there? The baby mother. Then there's going to be a homecoming before they even graduate college. Guess who's going to be there? Baby mother. When they buy a house, guess who's going to be there? The baby mother. When they have their first child, guess who's going to be there? The baby mother. If they get a terminal illness, guess who's going to be at the hospital with you? The baby mother. So this is already, once you have a child with a woman, you've already bonded yourself to her for the rest of your life. She's never going away. So you might as well give the marriage a shot. That's all I'll be saying. In the, I don't understand. Again, if you didn't see that with her, what would you put a kid in there for? So now at this point, you're just making a broken home for no reason. Come on, man. And again, like I said, I don't want to hear about the women. The women are their own thing. I've made videos talking to the women about the same subject. Because I've said before, and I'll say again, and this whole situation is another example of why I said it before. It would be a lot easier to solve the single parent broken home problem in the community if black women refused to birth children of men who won't marry them. Because it would be way easier for Haley to say, DDG, you will not have a child with me unless you marry me, than it would be for me to try to convince DDG not to smash and nothing Haley Berry if she's going to allow him to. Because she's a beautiful woman with a beautiful body, and any man, if she opens her legs, is going to dive in like Trey Songz. How do you expect me to stop this man from going against his biological nature to sleep with a beautiful woman and make him accountable for her body? Mind you, we in the middle of the election, you got all these women running around talking about my body, my choice, but they want me to try to convince a young dude like DDG with money not to nut in beautiful women like Haley Bailey. I'm not going to be able to do that. It'd be easier for women to just say, we're not going to have babies by people who won't marry us. But they don't want to take accountability for that either. And this is why we keep having this vicious cycle. No one wants to be accountable. There's no reason... Why wow, a woman like Haley is supposed to win, guys. And I think what a lot of y'all don't understand is when a woman like Haley loses, it has residual effects throughout the entire culture. All right? Here's the problem with a woman like Haley losing. Haley is the little mermaid. Now, as a man, you probably don't care about Haley being the little mermaid, and that's fine. But let me break some stuff down to you guys really quick. Haley being a little mermaid means that she has an entire generation of young women, especially young women of color, looking up to her. They are now looking up to a baby mother. That alone has already set the next generation back. The little mermaid is a baby mother. I've never in my life seen anyone casted as a Disney princess somehow end up a single mother. Divorced? Maybe. I don't even know if that's happened, but maybe. But a single mother, never married, I've never seen that. Leave it to a black woman to somehow become the first single mother Disney princess. Unbelievable, right? So one, you're setting us back with the babies. Two, anyone under the age of 30, if you want to cut it a little lower, 25 or under, probably considers Haley to be one of their icons, at least so far, because that's a very young age bracket, right? You made her a single mother. Going back to what I said earlier, people, especially women, consider Haley to be classy, the more, the type of chick you wipe. She's supposed to be the wifey type, which is what I thought DDG was going to do, but he did not. So what you guys have to realize, and this is a gym, the best gyms come for those who stay till the end. I repeat, the best gyms come for those who stay till the end. Here's the problem, guys. When you have a woman like Haley Bailey, who did everything right, wasn't in the streets, don't be shaking her ass all over the place, you know, all the time, right? Don't be in thongs and showing her butt all the time, right? She talks proper with respect. She don't be cussing nobody out. You know, she's, she's very feminine, soft, nurturing, caring, everything we said we should want. And she ends up a single mother? At this point, Sexy Red is everything men claim to hate. She's loud, ghetto, ratchet, masculine. She shakes her bare ass all over the place, flashes her boobies all the time. But at the end of the day, Haley ended up a single mother 
just like Sexy Red. Sexy Red is more popular than Haley is. Sexy Red's music career right now is doing better than Haley's is. These are just the facts. So if you're a young black woman, right? Let's look past the little girls. I already brought up the little mermaid angle. Let's look past the little girls. Let's go into the adults. Right? Like I said, like those 18 to 25 year old girls. If you're looking, you cannot see the difference between a uh, sexy red and a Haley Bailey. And that is a problem. <laughs> because at the end of the day, you're like, okay, I can be feminine, nurturing, caring, submissive like Haley, or I could be loud, yellow, ratchet, and shake my ass everywhere like sexy red, and it doesn't make a difference because no matter which one I do, right? No matter which one I do, I'm still gonna somehow end up a single mother. It doesn't seem to make a difference. So at this point as men, how are we incentivizing women to be classy, to be feminine, nurturing, and caring and submissive when a woman portrays that and she still gets left to be a single mother? See, y'all make situations, and this is why I said this video ain't about the women. I can go in on the women all day. I'm not going on the women on this video. We talking to the men right now because y'all create the monster that y'all complain about. Just like I made another video where I said player culture is the reason we have so many 304s today. Because after a while of trying to settle down and be a good woman for a man and he keeps sleeping around on you, he keeps cheating, eventually hell has no fury like a woman's skirt. They're going to say, okay, well, if I'm going to get cheated on anyway. I'm going to do my thing too. I'm going to sleep with who I want to. Then you guys want to complain. But how can you complain? <laughs> When you have DDG doing stuff like this, like when I'm talking to men about it, the excuses they're making for DDG, they're saying things like, oh, well, DDG, you know, he's a young man, you know, he's a multimillionaire, so in his head, he probably thinking like a lot of dudes is thinking, you know what I'm saying, Alex? He probably thinking he can get a whole bunch of women, so why would he be worried about Haley? Number one, that goes back to what I just said. This is why you guys have a hard time finding good women. Because you do not foster an environment that even encourages them to be there. That's number one. Number two, okay, he a young dude with some money. 90% of the time when you a young dude with some money, you're not going to attract nothing but hoes. What did LeVar Ball tell LaMelo Ball, Lonzo Ball, and Leandro Ball? His three sons who were in the NBA, even though Leandro didn't stay there. This is a gym. This is what DDG needs OGs in his ear. To deliver him the message that I'm about to deliver to y'all right now. That LeVar delivered to his sons. Which is, once you become rich and famous, you're not going to see many good women. If you see any at all. It's nothing but hoes. BBL goblins. Gold diggers. Alright? White women who want to steal your wealth. Nothing but hoes. So you looked up and found a girl who carries herself in a classy way. And you let her go back to the streets? Why? Dude's talking about some old DDG can get girls. And don't get me wrong. DDG has a hit list of beautiful women that he slept with. But here's what y'all are acknowledging. They're all hoes. <laughs> like, what the hell? One of his most recent exes is Ruby Rose, for God's sakes, who just admitted for money she pretended to be Drewski's girlfriend. Which included kissing this man, him rubbing out her breast, all types of stuff. She did this for Moolah. She claims she didn't sleep with him. We all know that that's a lie. This is, this girl is for hire. She's for sale. She's been for sale since she's been 17 out of her own damn mouth. And there's proof on Twitter. That's his ex. So when you say, oh, DDG get girls, when the girls are Ruby Rose, what does it matter? What does it matter? Y'all don't even understand. You don't run into that many good girls in life. Hoes, you run into left and right. When you run into a good, solid, nurturing, loving, caring woman, you're just supposed to hold on to that. Hence why LeVar Ball, the same way I'm trying to tell y'all right now, told his sons, listen, when you go pro, you are not going to run into any good women. You're not going to see nothing but hoes. That's why he said that. Yeah, he, he, he get women though, Alex. He get women. Not good women. And then you gotta look at it like this, man. And a lot of y'all, man, I just wanna end the video on this. Like I said, the best gems come for those who stay to the end.
I just did a video where I was just talking about why a lot of y'all baby mothers don't like y'all. This is another prime example. So if you're Haley Bailey, you think, okay, I love DDG. I'm going to have this baby with DDG. This is a man in my tax bracket. You know, he got his own clout just like me. This should work out. We could be a power couple. This should be a good thing, right? So you have this man, baby, which she could have died doing, by the way. She risked death, has this man's baby. All of a sudden, it just doesn't work out. Having this baby is not going to hurt DDG's career, guys. It's going to boost DDG's career. It is not going to hurt DDG's career. He has a baby with Haley Bailey. So he's just going to get even more popular than he already was. Now you have women of older ages and women who weren't even into the YouTube and streamer thing who are going to be checking out and watching DDG. It doesn't even matter if they hate watching them. Clicks is clicks and money is money in the YouTube game. You know what I'm saying? So this only helps him. It does not hurt him in any way. Because men are not going to look down on him for having a baby mother. They should look down on him for having a good woman and making her a baby mother. But they're not going to do that. They're just going to say, he get hoes, Alex. Okay, now, let's look on the flip side with Haley Bailey. So you risk dying, right? Made a liability with this man. Now you're a single mom. Now you're back on the dating market. Every woman sits here and she hears men of all races. All races go online and talk about how when you're a single mother, your dating market value drops. Men don't want to be serious with you. Men don't want a long-term relationship with you. So here's Haley thinking, boy, if you was never going to marry me, why would you put a baby in me? You done drop my market value. I was one of the hottest chicks available. Now, right, I'm still a catch because I'm very classy, right? I'm very feminine, nurturing, and caring. But it's going to be harder for me because I have this baby now. Why would you make it harder for me? Not only that, let's get past the dating because I think Haley has the personality type, right? Where she can kind of get past being a single mother. Her career is going to suffer for this. As I said earlier in the video, what other Disney princess ever ended up a single mother? I'll wait. It doesn't happen. It does not happen. You guys don't understand that. So now her clean image, her good girl image, her church girl image that she risked for DDG that she could have kept if he would have married her is gone. It's gone now. Because now she's a single mother. By a dude who was a valedictorian and now he got a bunch of tattoos and wants to be a rapper. This is, I can see it from the perspective of women, right? This is why they're lashing out and they're calling them broken and they're calling them dusty. It's not even because they really view him as broken and dusty. It's because they knew that he wasn't shit. And I say it all the time on this channel, 304 is no men. Well, right? Because that's all they hang with. <laughs> they sleep with women all the time. So a 304 can spot a dude who ain't about nothing. So I really should have believed them. Well, they were all trying to tell me DDG was going to do this, but I wanted to give DDG the benefit of the doubt, like I said at the beginning of the video. But I was wrong. So, of course, now they're lashing out on him, and they're talking a bunch of crap about him again. Because he ruined this girl's image. Can she bounce back from it? Yes. But again, it's going to be that much harder for her in the industry that she's in, with the image she tried to paint for herself, to have the same level of success, it's not going to hurt him at all. It's only going to help him. So it starts to give the impression this was a money move for him. She made this move out of love. He made this move for money. That's what it looks like. That's what it looks like, guys. And then y'all see situations like Offset and Cardi B. Y'all be upset because she out here getting her cheeks clapped while she eight months pregnant. But I mean, again, what difference does it make? At least Cardi B got married. They might be getting divorced now, but she got married. And she was a stripper. She's, again, this is a whore. Cardi B is a whore. But at least she got a ring. How does Cardi B get a ring, but not Haley Bailey? But y'all want women to be feminine, nurturing, caring, and submissive. You're working against yourselves. I know this might not be the most popular video. I'm probably have a bunch of hate in my comments, but that's okay. Because it needs to be said. This is not a good thing. This is a terrible thing. This sets young, youthful dating and relationships back a lot, man. 
This does a lot of damage. So hopefully someone gets in DDG's ear. And unless something crazy really is going on, which I really don't think that it's that. I don't think she did anything crazy to this boy. They tell him, yo, man, you might want to do a 360 on this and do the right thing. You might want to do a 360 on this. You know what I mean? I hope someone goes in her ear too because you're y'all right. We don't know. Maybe she's the one who broke up with him and he just announced it. I doubt it, but maybe that's what happened. Then someone needs to get in her ear and tell her the same thing. Just the girl version. But either way, this is a bad look. This is not good. This is not good for you for relationships or young relationships. Either way, y'all, that's my thoughts on that. I am Alex and I am out. Peace.